Open? Open, yeah. All right. Diet Coke. Your mid-morning drink. My mid-morning caffeine pop. Here in the Tuscany of America. It's that's, a beautiful that's spot. That's fair, yeah. I've not read that in, but I might. I will start using that line. <laughs> <laughs> You're here, you're in Pullman, you are the athletic director of the Washington State University. <laughs> <laughs> Washington State University, yes. <laughs> that the is a part of my background somewhere that a lot of our staff throw in my face once in a while, but uh, proud to be here. You've been here since 2018, yeah. and I think a lot of Cougs are proud of the fact that, that you also are the only Asian American athletic director in a Power Five conference. Uh, this institution has a long history of, of really, really embracing diversity, equity, and inclusion. To George Raveling, Jack Thompson, there's Alston Floyd. I mean, you just go right down the list. And, and really, I, I'm, I'm proud to say that once you're a Coug, the only two colors that matter are crimson and gray, and, uh, and I've, I've lived it. Your claim to fame coming here is a fundraiser. You've been able to raise millions of dollars here, and you've also had to deal with a crisis that, that everybody across the state has had to deal with. Uh, we're like a lot of schools in our conference and in the Power Five. Uh, we'll have to take a loan to get through the current year, and uh, we've refinanced some some uh, some bonds to get us through next year, but we're actually gonna present a budget that's gonna get us back to operating in the black. We make the dollar stretch farther than every program at our level, and even in the midst of the pandemic, uh, we're able to get a 10-year agreement with Giza uh, Banks or Giza Credit Union to uh, to name Giza Field. So, but the oddity during the pandemic is uh, we're still trending toward another record year of fundraising. We don't know where we're going to be from an attendance standpoint this year. Uh, obviously, we're going to do what's best for health and safety and uh, whatever uh, the governor's office allows and Whitman County allows. But uh, assuming that variable is is at least 50% or higher. You were just talking about the naming rights. Did you ever think about doing anything with the stadium? Because it comes up every year during Apple Cup that Clarence. Martin was, yes, the, the governor of Washington, but he's also a Husky. Yeah, and also a, a family that in, in time of need for Washington State, when the stadium burned down, that came forward and donated a significant amount of money uh, in which the leadership at the time felt the, that warranted naming of the stadium. So uh, we're a place that prides itself on its word. Uh, we're a place that prides itself at saying, hey, as, if we say this is what we're going to do, or this is what we're going to do. Uh, you were talking about the pandemic, and, and you had to go through several cuts during the pandemic just to, to navigate this. Every adversity tests the culture of every organization. And when you go to your coaches and ask them to take a pay cut, and you don't hear one complaint. Uh, you go to your staff and say, hey, we're gonna have to take two weeks of furlough, and then a couple a month later say, hey, we're gonna have to add two more weeks. You could FOIA my email. Uh, I never got one complaint about what we did. How much does the, the Pac-12 network and the future of that and the finances of that factor into the recovery? For the athletic department. Significantly, you could argue that the need for live content on TV probably grew because of the pandemics. It is significant. And speaking of money, one of the, the issues that, that continues to percolate is NIL, name, image, likeness. Wish it would have been done years ago. Uh, you should be able to, like any college student, be able to monetize your name, image, and likeness. And we have a bunch of student athletes that, that are very creative, that should have opportunities, whether it's uh, through social media, uh, through doing camps in their hometowns, or doing camps uh, in, in Eastern Washington. There, there are bigger things on the horizon for all of our student athletes beyond Washington State. We want them to end up like you, <laughs> on TV in a major market. <laughs> I'm just a guy, I'm just a guy. Yeah. Uh, you know, in, in terms of equity, I mean, there's some, there's people that are concerned that with NIL, how does somebody like Morgan Weaver, the great Washington State University soccer player, profit the same way Gardner Minshew, yeah. the great Washington State University quarterback? And I think you're mentioning uh, Mo, she's from Tacoma too, right? Curtis. Curtis High School, yeah. So there, I knew there was going to be a Curtis drop here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, someone like Mo is someone, another example of someone who should have been able to take advantage of whatever she could for monetizing her name, image, and likeness. You said you have hope about bringing people fans back to, to Martin Stadium. Whenever that time comes, uh, we're, we'll have to make a decision on where we're at for game one. We'll be ready to go, but um, you know, we're, we're trying to keep all options open, but a lot's gonna change between now and by the time we get to August and September. Well, here's to hoping. Thanks for sharing a Diet Coke in the Tuscany of America. Yeah, it's my afternoon caffeine drink, so I appreciate <laughs> you joining me for it.